thank you all for coming, and it's great to see a plethora of people from in the Labour Party here today, because I think one of the strengths of the Labour Party is that we're a broad church of people. We all came together, we campaigned in 2015, and we did well with Labour's vote, and we're all going to come together, and we're going to campaign over the next four weeks. So thank you all for being here. Um, also, thanks Lloyd for being here. It's not even in your constituency, and you've come and you've spoken, and, and, and it's really great. And Lloyd and I have known each other for a few years, and we're determined to be, and I, you know, I, I'm serious about this, we're determined to make sure that we can have a new generation of Labour MPs that change the Labour Party in a way that we can apply to the modern world, that supports the programme that we have now for a radical Labour government, and brings in fresh energy, fresh ideas, and fresh determination. I look forward to, to, to seeing Lloyd elected um, in, on, I was about to say in May, but it's not May, in, um, on, on, on June the 8th. Um, I'm really excited to be the candidate in Pavilion. Now, I know there were odd circumstances about how that's come about, but those of you who were on the campaign trail in 2015 will know that this is where I want to be, because this is where I feel rooted now, this is where I campaign, and this is the seat that I want to represent in Parliament. I think it's time that Brighton shows that it's a youthful and diverse city. I think it's time that we put a young, diverse candidate into Parliament, and that's what we're hoping to do. And I want to address something up front, because it's something that people are going to talk about quite a lot. And it's about the idea of a progressive alliance. And the reason I bring it up is because I've worked closely with people like Lisa Nandy and Clive Lewis on the idea of parties working together to stop the Tories. And I'll be honest with you, I'm, I, I actually absolutely think, I don't agree in electoral pacts, but I think that if local parties think that standing down will help the Tories, then they should consider that. And they've done, the Greens have done that in Kemp Town. But surely, <laughs> hopefully I'm not wrong here, but surely if the point is to get rid of the Tories, then doesn't that only make sense in a seat where the Tories are going to win? So here in Pavilion, we have a straight contest. The Tories aren't going to win here. They may wish so, but they haven't got a shot in hell. So what we have to do is offer the people of Brighton Pavilion a choice between progressive parties. This can be the home for progressive debate, for modern debate about what direction people want to see the country go. And one of the reasons that the Greens won here in 2015 was because I was on the doorstep and people were telling me that unfortunately I can't vote for, you, uh, for Perno, who was our candidate, because the National Labour Party isn't radical enough, because the National Labour Party isn't anti-austerity, because we don't see the difference between you and the Tories. So our message when we go out on the doorstep is clear. We have held our end of the bargain. We changed our party the way you asked us to. It is now your duty to hold your end of the bargain. Show us you're serious. Help us get into government. Let's do what we had between 1997 and 2010. Let's have three Labour MPs in Brighton. That's a progressive alliance that will stand up to the Tories. Three Labour MPs here in this city. And the other thing that we need to make clear is that actually it's a good thing to have progressive debate because one of the best things about progressive politics is the ideal of democracy. And in the same way, the Greens came in 2010 and they challenged Labour and they beat the Labour Party here. And we, we, weren't, you know, we were upset about that, but that's democracy. So when we come and we win here in June, I hope that they will understand that that's democracy and people have supported us. <laughs> And the last, thing that I'll add, the last thing I'll add on that point, um, because I will make the point that it's really important to me that we have a positive campaign, that it's about voting Labour. We're not attacking the Greens. I agree with them on a lot of issues. Caroline Lucas and I have known each other for a long time, and we agree on a lot of things. So we're not interested in that. But I do know, and I, Claire may be, may be able to update me on this, but the last time we checked, we hadn't had a request from the Green Party to stand down in Pavilion. A week ago, and I'll say this to Labour members here, I asked, uh, two weeks ago, I asked Caroline Lucas on a panel debate, do you want us to stand down? And she said no. I said, can you say that nationally? Unfortunately, they can't, apparently. But we haven't had a request to stand down. We will make that point tomorrow when the, when the nominations close. We're standing a candidate and we're here to win. Because it's really important. Lloyd's made the point. I'm not going to repeat what the Tories are doing because we all know what they're doing. So it's important that we have a Labour MP and it's important that we have a Labour government. That's really important for us. So for me, this election is about more than just getting people to vote Labour. 
This is an opportunity for us as a party to try and re-engage people who haven't been that interested in politics, from young and old. And I think that what we've seen already, since we've announced that we have a candidate here, since I've taken on, we've seen a great wave of young people in our constituency getting behind the campaign who want to get involved and vote. And I saw a poll the other day that it said if 30% more young people voted, we would win the general election. So that's going to be a priority for us. We're going to go out in the doorstep. We're going to make the case that we're anti austerity. We're going to make the case that we're the real progressive choice here. Because for me, this is a choice between progressive ideals or progressive ideals in practice. And I know which one I want to see. Because for seven years, Brighton has been saying, can we do something about homelessness? For seven years, Brighton's been saying, can we do something about Southern Rail? For seven years, Brighton's been saying, can we sort out the housing crisis? Well, I'll tell you what, we'll build a million houses, we'll renationalise our railways, and we'll end homelessness in Brighton. But I will say, there is only one answer to that. And the way to do that is to have a Labour government in government, have a, have, have, have a Labour Prime Minister, have a Labour Cabinet and have a Labour MP here in Pavilion who can make the case to the Labour Party that we need to have that representation. So thanks all for coming. Um, we hope to see you on uh, the doorstep at Street Stalls. Um, this is more than just Pavilion, this is about our city as well. So those of you who are campaigning in Kemp Town, keep doing it. Those who are campaigning in Hove, keep doing it. Those who are here in Pavilion and can help us campaign, come and help us. But we're going to be doing a joint campaign across the city for a Labour government, our, our principles, in power. And together, I genuinely believe, if there's anywhere where our message is going to sing strong, if there's anywhere that anti-austerity politics, where radical Labour policies are going to really ring true with people, it's here in Brighton. Let's have three Labour MPs on June the 8th. Let's make June the end of May. <laughs>